morning class 9 uh, as we were studying yesterday about narration we were doing and we have done uh, that uh, interrogative ones okay so further some of the more some of more examples of interrogative sentences we will do today so first of all is do you know anybody suppose it is do you know anybody or could you get reference could you know anybody sorry do you know anybody or could you get a reference from your previous landlady from your previous landlady he said to me so now how you will change if i yes it will be new because it is in simple present tense and simple present tense will change into simple past tense if i knew anybody or and he further added that if if we could here if it is i, I huh, then again it will be i if i could any reference from my previous landlady he asked me at the start okay next one is she said or shall i tell him what happened she said or shall i say nothing or one minute shall i say nothing change right she asked me it will be changed into asked she asked me one minute she asked me if i should she could she would okay if she would okay because she is telling na this so if she would okay because shall will change into would if she would tell him what had happened okay what had happened and she also asked or she further asked or she should she sorry she would say nothing she would say nothing next one is do you think the fog is going to get thicker so should i uh, you will be able to see here or should i wrap okay i'll write down there yes, it is do you think the fog is do you think the fog is getting thicker and what shall we do and what shall we do if it does she said yes no she asked if i think if i thought if i thought the fog was getting thicker and what what shall we change into would not should it will be changing to would and what would
वट शेल वी डू इफ इट डज क्या शुड भी ठीक है राइट राइट एंड वट शुड दे डू इफ इट डेट ओके इफ इट डेट राइट नेक्स्ट वन इज इफ वुड यू लाइक टू सी वुड यू like to see over the house or you or are you more interested more interested in the garden she asked me yes how it will be changed write me she asked me now because would you like to see over the house preference is asked okay question is i it will be yes or no so if or whether will be used yes so now make she asked If I would, If I would like, like, yes. Okay, it will not be changed. I would like to see over the house or. If I was more interested in the garden, right? Next, would you like? to wait or would you rather come back would you rather come back tomorrow said the official one minute first of all the official asked let me enter the suit yes how it will be changed the official asked yes if i would like to wait or he also asked or he further asked if if i would rather come back tomorrow will change into the next day okay the next day or the following day next is shall i be in time he asked himself looking at the watch looking at the watch yes now let us change yes he asked himself looking at the watch if if he would be in okay so i think that with these enough revision has been done for interrogative sentences any doubt now so let me ask the rules so first of all simple present tense is changing into past simple past tense present continuous is changing to past continuous present perfect past perfect now for past tense simple past tense Past perfect one into three and two into four. This rule I always tell. Okay, past perfect. Past continuous will change into past perfect continuous and past perfect no change. In case of past perfect, there won't be any change, right? So now after that, coming up to uh, future tense, will and shall will change into would because it is denoting future only, right? and uh, here yeah. there these those this that before i go now then okay tonight that night, that night. yesterday yesterday okay the day after tomorrow the day after the following day <laughs> okay right so in this manner you will make all the changes 
now in case of uh, interrogative what rules we were following that there were there are two type of questions one with yes or no answer and the another one with yes or no without yes or no answer right so we can also classify them as the questions which start with uh, you can say with helping verbs models okay they for example is am are was were has have been do does did can could may shall will should with these we are using if for whether but if the question starts with the question word like the what where when how whose whom so with that we are not using if for whether and rest of the rules we have already observed now next we are coming to imperative sentences now what are imperative sentences which shows any kind or in which uh, any request is made okay order is given some advice is made these are called as imperative sentences now in case of imperative sentences we have different rules how we have changed now in these how we have changed we have used let okay first of all an uh, imperative sentence is changed by changing what we are introducing to infinitive to and rest of the sentence is same in the manner okay next afterwards we are also having if let is given okay for example it is giving a suggestion that what we are writing proposed okay he proposed to go to there he suggested okay right so simple ones they are so let us have some more examples for example sulekha said to anil let me do this work so now in this case let me do this work she is asking for permission okay so uh, so how it will be changed it will be simply changed by introducing to okay to and then let so how it will be changed so let her that to let her do this will also change into that okay so whatever kind of you can say meaning is delivered here in the sentence so you will introduce in place of said to the same type of word it is whether it is requested whether it is advised proposed order whatever it is you will use accordingly okay so next one is suppose simple one the principal said to the pun let the boy come in to let the boy come in okay so now again it is you can say sort of order okay so next the teacher said let him work so hard let him work ever so hard he cannot pass the examination he cannot pass the examination so how it will be changed the teacher yes yes to let let him it this to let him work ever so hard now change and the teacher advised okay advised let me tell you one thing because here it is a condition if he will work so hard then only then he can pass the exam otherwise he cannot pass the exam so here it is a sort of condition when this kind of condition is there then what we are introducing might what we will write down we use might okay the teacher said or the teacher advised that he might work ever so hard he could not pass the examination right 
So next is the teacher said. So you, this you will remember. This was an exception in case of these. The teacher said to the boys, "Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time in idle gossip." Huh. The teacher, yes, it is the advice the boys not to waste the time in idle gossip. So now, why we have used not to? Because it is in negative. Okay, he is negating them. He is saying not to do this. Okay, so whenever these type of sentences are there, don't. Then what we use? We use not before infinitive to. Okay, so you will remember this. Okay, so three different types we have now. Okay, next one. Whenever there is condition, what we are using? What we are using when there is condition? Might. Okay. Otherwise, let. And if there is any kind of suggestion, then should we are also using? Okay. Next is the king said to his servants. The king said to his servants. Go away at once. The king ordered the servants to go away at once. Okay, now let us do this. I said to him, "Let us go for swimming." I suggested him. Okay. I requested. It is request. It is a suggestion. It's a suggestion. So he, I suggested him that we should. I told him wherever suggestion is there, what you will use, you will use should. Okay, because here it is a suggestion. Okay, so that we should. Okay, then you will use should. Okay, this is another example of different type. Now, he said to the peon, "Let the visitor." Have his cap. Yes. Let the visitor have his cap. How it will be changed? To let the visitor have his cap. Okay. So it will be also right. Okay. He suggested the P and let the visitor should have his cap. Both are correct in this case. Call the witness. Said the judge. The judge ordered to call the witness. Okay. Mother said to me, "Work properly." Mother ordered me. Mother advised me. It's an advice. Work properly. Okay. Mother advised me to work properly. Now the suppose next one is the teacher said to the boys, "Take out your books." And read them silently. Ordered here it is an order. The teacher ordered the boys to take out their books and read them silently. And read them silently. Okay. So now we have optative sentences. In case of optative sentences, in any kind of wish is made. For example, may you live long, right? So he wished him for long life. It can be made in the simplest manner. Okay. Suppose it is there. The farmer said, "Would that I ever rich." Now, would that I ever rich? He is making a wish. So how you will change it? The farmer wished that he had been rich. 
okay okay right you just remember this example so for example one more is there he said to you oh that we could be friends forever he wished that they, they could be friends forever that they could be friends forever next he said to me may you live long he to live long or he uh, wished me that i might live long according to the rule if you change may will change into might okay so let me write down some of the examples here okay because otherwise you won't have much clarity yes yes next for operative sentences for example he said to me may god bless you with good health yes he wished that that god might bless me with good health so if it will be there in this manner he said to me good morning i have come to consult you i have come to consult you yes he he said to me good morning yes how it will be changed he wished me good morning very good and he further to consult me okay so because this is added here so you we can add on he further added okay next he said if i were a king yes yes he wished that he would be a king because this is a wish so you there what you will introduce would how it will be changed by adding would the leader said goodbye my friends yes no when you say no goodbye you will use bait bait the leader bait his friends goodbye okay the leader bait his friends goodbye or suppose it is goodbye or simply you can also say that the leader bait his friends farewell okay so these are some different kind of examples right suppose he said goodbye friends he said goodbye friends how it will be changed he bade his friends goodbye okay so how it will be changed he bade his friends goodbye okay some more examples first is he said get out of my way to get out of his way right suppose next one is he ordered climb in through the window to climb in through the window infinitive to will be introduced the assistant said please pay at the desk requested to pay at the desk right next is said the store detective open your bag please 
the store detective said requested to open to open the bag right i advise him don't use bent coins in a slot machine not to use what i advise him not to use bent coins in the slot machine right next is he said to the lift man take me up to the 33rd floor to take him to the 33rd floor right so next is little bit longer make good use of your time you won't get such an opportunity again he said to us he advised us to make good use of our time and and not to waste simply write down and not to waste okay and, no, and that i won't or not that yes you are right <laughs> that Won't will change into wouldn't because will not is equal to won't. Would not get an opportunity this type of opportunity again. That kind sorry. Don't wait. when the red flag is flying said the lifeguard okay or the lifeguard forbade to bathe when the red flag is flying okay when we use bathe then we not we don't use okay because bait means to say no okay then we don't use not read it for yourself read it for yourself if you don't believe what i say he told me now change yes yes he advised me he suggested me read it for yourself if you don't believe what i say he told me to read it for myself if i didn't believe what he said didn't believe what he said okay suppose one more i will ask something's coming get into the cupboard she said something's coming get into the cupboard she said it is not advice it is not suggestion it is simply she told she simply she say she simply told that something was coming and got into the cupboard okay next is uh the companion on the raft said put the message into a bottle and throw it into the sea and throw to it threw it into the sea okay 
so now in this manner the revision of narration is complete okay so next afterwards we will have the revision of subject verb concord also right so rules we have revised on that day right so further we will continue so thank you to the students okay.